Well, good evening, guys. It is the next day. We are currently in the town of Panahashel, which is on the northern coast of Lake Atitlan. We're gonna go ahead and see what there is to eat. It's been a very, very rainy afternoon. It's been raining nonstop for like six hours. And finally, the rain has stopped. So let's go ahead and check out what there is to eat. First stop here in Panachal, first bite of food actually in this town. And we've come to a place known as Restaurant Chef Alex. Now, why did I come here? They've got churrasco, which if you remember are those like barbecued meat. 20 quetzales gets you this entire plate here with salsa, you've got onions, rice, beans, and of course some tortillas. It looks absolutely amazing. I am literally starving and I'm starting to drool. I'm just gonna go in first for just a small piece of the meat. I just wanna try out the meat first, see what the meat tastes like. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. I love how when they asked me how I wanted my meat, I told them medium. And it is medium on the inside. It's nice and juicy on the inside or else they would just charred it all the way and it's super super crispy but at the same time it has that crispiness on the sides of the meat absolutely love that that is delicious i'm gonna go ahead and try out some of the rice as well let's go ahead and try this out oh yeah that's good but it's just rice there's nothing much to it it's okay i try out some of the beans just a little bit Ooh, those beans are good. They're really, really nice and salty, actually. I like those beans. They're absolutely delicious. Okay, now, of course, the proper way to do churrasco, you got to get a tortilla and put all your ingredients in. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a tortilla. Ooh, these are nice, hot, freshly made from the stove. Going to put some layer of beans first on top just to give it that sort of beans. After that, we're gonna put a piece of meat. And then, of course, we're gonna put some of these onions, these char-grilled roasted onions on here. Oh, I love that. And then, obviously, gotta put some of that salsa just to give it that bit of spice. You can see the salsa just like everywhere. It's just like soaked up everything. You can't avoid the salsa on this plate, which I love. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. I've got to say, those beans, they're so good. They're very, very flavorful. It's not just bean flavor. I like that it's really, really pasty and sticky. The beans, that's what really makes it for me here. The spring onions, nice and char grilled, absolutely delicious. The meat, like I said, that soft, juicy meat, absolutely love that. And the salsa, the red sauce, I wouldn't actually call it salsa. It's not really that spicy. There's no like, I'm not, whew, you know, I'm not like dying here. It's just kind of like a tomato-y sauce, which is good, not bad at all. I just wish it was like really, really spicy. But yeah, overall, really, really delicious. For 20 quetzales, absolutely worth it. And I love that they have rice and beans included and tortillas to sort of fill you up because just the meat itself is not gonna be enough. But the meat, it's a pretty big piece. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a pretty big piece. So good value, good price. Let's continue and see what else there is to eat here in Panahashe. Next stop we've come to is right across from the Churrasco place earlier we were at. There's a lot of music back there so I'm hoping, I'm really really hoping that the audio is gonna work. But it's just this little lady, she's selling a bunch of things. She has tamales, tacos, tostadas and a lot of things. I decided, you know what, I've got to try some, some of her food. So first off we got a tamale. This one is a tamale of pork. So it's not a chicken, it's a pork. And you can see it's covered in this like red salsa. It looks absolutely delicious. And just cutting into it, you can see the cross section with the pork on the inside. It looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I'm excited to see how this tastes. Mm. This one you can tell is made with corn. 
it's not made with rice. This tamale, it, it's got a little like a, a different flavor to it. The corn adds an element of a flavor to it. But I really like it, the pork, nice, juicy, and tender on the inside after having steamed for such a long time. Absolutely delicious, would absolutely recommend that. All right, next thing we've got is a taco. This is a taco with chicken on the inside, but it's not any type of taco, it's a fried taco. But what's inside is the chicken, and it's topped off with just a bunch of things. It's got onions, cilantro, and a little bit of cheese, and I think some cabbage as well. But it looks absolutely delicious. But it's also like really like long. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, but I think I'm just gonna take a take it up and then take a bite. Let's hope this is the right way to eat it. Mm. That is very very interesting. Super super deep fried and crispy on the outside. No doubt about that. Good chicken on the inside. It's actually pretty dry, but it's kind of like a paste. It's turned into a paste, and then you just stuff it inside the chicken until what it is today. Onions, love the onions. That sort of crunch adds to the crispiness of the already crispy skin. Really, really good. I love the textures on this fried sort of Guatemalan taco dorado. It's amazing. You have chicken on the inside. You can see the cross section. Wow, really, really good. The only thing I think would make it better is if there was a little bit of salsa and luckily for us we've got some salsa so i think i'm gonna pour some of the salsa just on the top just to give it a little bit more spice so let's go ahead and try it with the salsa mm. when you eat this don't forget the salsa that salsa is actually pretty fresh it's not too spicy but it does bring a little bit of kick a little bit of spice exactly what the taco needs oh wow yeah with the salsa everything changes but the tamale was for gonzalez the taco was also for gonzalez so super super affordable right here on the street it's raining also right now unfortunately but absolutely delicious she also does desserts so i'll show you guys the desserts in a bit all right as promised i told you the lady makes desserts too and what we have here is something i've never seen before it's an empanada de platano which is a banana empanada it looks amazing you can see it's coated with sugar it looks like it's deep fried i'm not really sure what's going on but i'm curious as to what it tastes like so let's go ahead and give this a bite um, completely not what i was expecting so first off when i thought a banana of a banana i thought it would be on the outside some dough and then banana on the inside but here the banana is the dough the banana is literally the thing wrapping everything up that all that deep fried stuff on the outside that's not dough that is the banana what's inside the banana beans and the beans are actually kind of like a sweet pasty they're almost kind of like a red bean paste which is really really interesting but oh wow it is a little bit hard to chew it's very sticky because the banana makes up the dough so banana they pureed it and they've made it into this like mold shape this sort of circle shape and then they deep fried the whole thing so it's really really sticky on the inside but absolutely delicious i mean to completely know what i was expecting i thought it would just be banana on the inside maybe a little bit liquidy but no this is pure solid the thing is when you lift it you know it's heavy like it is stuffed with banana and beans those are two ingredients that are really, really heavy. So when you're holding it, you can feel the weight of the banana empanada. Wow, absolutely delicious. Completely not what I was expecting. A complete surprise, a pleasant surprise. But I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna see what else we can eat here in Panache. last stop we have to go to is this little shop that's selling pies right on the main street here in Panachel. And they don't really have a spot for you to eat, so either you take it to go or you eat while you're walking. Those are the only two options. Because it's raining outside, I decided it might be better just to take it back to the room and then eat it here. They have all different types of pies. They've got strawberry pie, they've got lemon pies, they've got apple pies. I decided to go with, you know, since we're in Guatemala, 
banana pie because banana is what is absolutely amazing here. But they're pies, these are like huge, huge trays of pies and it looks absolutely amazing. They're 10 quetzales for one piece, which is actually a little bit pricey considering how it's a pretty small piece. But I think she's really, really famous and I think it looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and give the banana pie a try. Um, that might be one of the best pies I've ever had in my life. Let's talk about the top layer. That top layer looks like cream or something. It's like a crispy sugar layer, but it's like a merengue. So it's really, really nice airy. Once you bite in, it just crumbles together. Oh, that top layer is absolutely amazing. The bananas, nice, sticky, kind of like a caramelly sort of toffee sort of flavor to it, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. You can taste most of the sweetness actually comes from the fruit of the bananas itself, the actual banana, not by added sugar. And then obviously you have your bottom, a little bit of a creamier layer. Wow, I love this banana pie. This has got to be one of the best pies I've ever had in my life. And obviously bananas here in Guatemala, that's what they're known for. That's what they're famous for. So if you're gonna get a pie, you're gonna get the banana one. All right, that's gonna be it for tonight, but I will see you guys when we continue to eat tomorrow here in Panahachel. Good morning, guys. It is the next day here in Panahachel. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get something to eat for breakfast, maybe something sweet, maybe something savory, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and see what we can get. All right, we've just come over onto the main street. This is Calle Santander, which links up to the highway that takes you out of Panahachel. But we've gotten some street food, some street food breakfast. There's actually a couple of stalls. Some of them are selling like burgers, some of them selling juices, but I said I wanted something traditional. First off, we've gotten arena con leche, which is like wheat with milk. And she puts it in this cup. She's got this big tub, and you can see that she's scooping it right now. That white sort of liquid. And you can see there's like a bit of like brown specks. I think that's wheat inside. Let's go ahead and give this a try. thing is here in Panachel, especially in the morning, it's a little bit cold, it's a little bit chilly. That warm drink, that just goes down into your soul. That is exactly what you're looking for, especially for like a, a warm breakfast drink because it's cold out here, it's, it's pretty chilly. That is absolutely perfect. Now the other item I've got here is a chicken with bread. Now this chicken is kind of like in a sandwich form, so it's like mayonnaise and then it's put inside the bread so it sort of becomes like a sandwich of sorts. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. The bread looks pretty thick. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Mm. That is what I call simple but good food. The chicken mayonnaise combination, really, really nice. It's actually quite crunchy because they put a lot of like the tendons and the fat from the chicken inside the sandwich so really actually quite crunchy but smooth and tasty from that mayonnaise mixed with this delicious warm avena con leche it just does not get better than that that is absolutely delicious uh, in addition to everything we've gotten the classic guatemalan breakfast food is obviously a tamale and you can see it's just in this big tub wrapped in the leaves and then she just takes it out put some salsa on top now to make it spicy, I had to put some extra green salsa because I love spice, but it looks absolutely delicious. Now this one is not made of rice. This is just the normal tamale made with corn, made with the dough of the corn. But we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and cut in. Oh, that just looks so warm and delicious. Oh, this is why I love Guatemalan tamales. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, okay, that might be one of the best tamales I've ever had. That is absolutely delicious. The chicken, it's almost like a chicken stew on the inside. There's barely any meat, it's just soft, liquidy. Yeah, it's like, it's like a solid chicken soup almost. The corn dough, really, really nice and fluffy, and it just sort of melts. I like how this one just melts. There's no, puts up no resistance, puts up no fight. Just absolutely delicious, and the salsa, nice and spicy with that green sauce. Oh wow, absolutely delicious. All these three items together, 14 quetzales, absolutely worth it. I mean, you're gonna go to any of these restaurants to get breakfast, 
they're gonna charge you like 30, 40 quetzales. This, 14 quetzales. I mean, the, the tamale, oh man. It's warm, nice and warm on the inside. Oh, that's delicious. And that, that chicken stew, I'm telling you, that is to absolutely die for. All right, that was an absolutely delicious breakfast, but we're gonna go see what else we can eat for today. Next stop for the day, we're once again here at Street Food and we're just right here on the corner. This is Calle Santander, this is the main street here. It's busy, it's loud, but what we've got is something called an empanada, but this is a pretty special empanada. Empanada inside is potato, so it's a potato empanada. But on top, she's put chicken, avocados, onions. So it seems like a lot of the ingredients that people usually put inside of an empanada, here in Guatemala, they put it outside of the empanada, which it's pretty interesting. I've never tried something like that where the main ingredients, the chicken and everything, the onions, it's outside the empanada, but it looks really, really crispy. And she's doused it in that sort of spicy sauce. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Mmm. So, so, so many different flavors going on in there. First off, You've got the potato inside the empanada. That's pretty plain, nothing special about it, which is why you need all those ingredients. The chicken, I don't know why, but it's it's mayonnaise-y, it's creamy, but it also has like a mint taste to it. It's kind of like minty. I don't know why it's got a mint taste, <laughs> gracias. I don't know why it's got like a mint taste to it, but it's quite refreshing to have that mint taste. Then of course you've got the salsa, which is tomato-y. You've got the vegetable earthy taste from the avocados. And then you've got like a spicy taste from, from the spicy salsa she puts on top. So it's so many different complex flavors. For me, the one that surprised me the most is how minty that chicken is. It's, it's really minty. It's almost like Christmassy, mayonnaise-y chicken. But that's really, really fascinating, really interesting for me. Never tried anything like this before, but this is my first empanada in Guatemala, and I have to say, very different from what I expected. Usually, like I said, the ingredients are inside the empanada, but here, it's outside and you can see the potato on the inside. It's just like a big chunk of potato, no flavoring. It's just like potato. That's it on the inside. But it's quite unique. It's really, really special. And of course, I love that it's spicy because that gives it that kick that I absolutely love when I have Hispanic food. Yes. All right, next up we've come to is a place known as Torteria. La Bendición, which means it's a place called La Bendición that sells tortillas. But they don't really have a place to sit. And instead of just selling tortillas, they also sell fried chicken and fries. That is the typical food here in Guatemala. Everywhere you go, every town you go, you're gonna find fried chicken and fries and that's exactly what we've gotten. They cost 10 quetzales for these fries and chicken and it looks pretty good and they've doused it. I love that combination. Ketchup, mayonnaise, salsa. That to me, that's heaven. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just gonna first try out a fry first. I mean, you can see these fried potatoes. Oh, they look so crispy and doused in all that sauce. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. I like how it's got a little bit of like a chickeny flavor. I think they use the same oil to fry the potatoes and the chicken, but the sauce, that's what makes it for me. That mayonnaise, ketchup, salsa, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of tomatoiness. That is why I love Guatemalan fried chicken. Now let's go ahead. Oh, this is a big chicken leg right here. It is very heavy, it's hefty. Oh my God, there are parts of it dropping off. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh my God, there's more. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Mm. All right. I've had quite a bit of fried chicken here in Guatemala. And for me, this is mediocre. Why? The chicken is okay. It's not very juicy. It's pretty dry, actually. I think they've been, they've left it out there for a very long time. The chicken skin, nice and crispy. It's not very thick either, but also all the other Guatemalan fried chicken I've had hasn't been very thick either. It's a mediocre chicken. It's not bad. It's not the best one I've had here in Guatemala. Is it worth thinking it's this? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's good. You got the potatoes, you got the chicken. But it's not the best I've had here in Guatemala. It's it's average. So yeah, would recommend, but just keep your expectations a little bit in line. It's not gonna be the most outrageously 
best fried chicken you'll ever have in your life. All right, let's go see what else we can go ahead and eat around here. Next up we've come to is a place, it's not really a restaurant, it's not really a bakery, it's a place known as Sandra's Supermarket. And yeah, it's a supermarket, but at the front of it they have some pastries, and there's something I've been really wanting to try here in Guatemala. It's something called manjar. What is manjar? Manjar is like a sweetened type of milk ingredient here in Guatemala, but it's always been kind of hard to find. Either bakeries have like sold out of it, or you bakeries just don't sell it. But I finally found this place, they do sell it, and it's served in this like sort of bready thing. It looks really, really good, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. That might be one of the best desserts I found here in Guatemala. First off, top of that powdered sugar on top. I love powdered sugar. It's sweet, it's nice, delicious. The bread, it's kind of it's crispy on the outside but really really airy nice and light on the inside almost like a croissant the best way i would describe the bread is if you think of the pastry of a cream puff where it's crispy on the outside really bouncy and airy on the inside that's exactly like what it is on here it's absolutely delicious it's kind of yeah exactly like a cream puff the cream the manhart itself let's talk about that sweetened nice i would say it's kind of like the texture of a custard like an eggy milky custard but it's a little bit gooey. It, it manages to shift its shape wherever it's put into, and I love it. Like usually when you get sweetened milk, especially in Mexico, you have like spices added to it, cinnamon, but here it's just sweetened milk by itself. The custard, absolutely delicious. I love that it's not too sweet. You get that strong, milky, a little bit of like an eggy flavor too. I'm not very sure, but it's very, very nice and gooey. Contrast that with the nice, airy, bouncy, and crispy on the outside bread that you have that's holding it all together. This becomes basically the perfect little snack. Oh, this is so good. And only for five quetzales, absolutely worth it. It's a pretty long, like, bread thing. But man, manjar might just be one of my favorite new ingredients ever. So make sure if you're here in Guatemala, find manjar. It's absolutely delicious. Think of like a milky, custard that's not too sweet that focuses more on the milk and the custard than actual sweetness absolutely delicious all right i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll see you guys when we eat again here in panahashe Night has fallen here in Panahashel and as always the food stalls have started to come out. Uh, I'm actually right here on the lake front. I'm like, the lake is literally a minute away from here. It's super, super close to the lake. And I saw these stalls that were just around here. There's a lady over there selling fried bananas. And this lady here is selling those, you know, typical Guatemalan snacks slash meals. What did I have? Well, I've gotten a tostada, which is covered in that sort of chicken salad with celery and carrots. And then I've got a doblada. Both of these things I have not tried here yet in Guatemala. So I'm curious as to how they compare with the ones in Mexico. Let's go ahead and start with a tostada, which as you can see, pretty simple. It looks pretty similar to the ones in Mexico. You've got a tostada, which is that sort of cracker. You've got a chicken layer on top, onions, salsa, some cilantro. It looks really, really good. I'm, I'm excited as to how it's going to taste. I'm curious whether it's going to taste as the same as the ones in Mexico. And you can tell, you know, it's uh, pretty hefty. It's, it, it's a pretty, I mean, this is the size of my face. This is the size of, of, of the tostada. It's pretty big, but it's a chicken tostada. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Huge, huge, huge fan of this. Wow, okay, a lot of things going on. First off, the salsa. A little bit spicy, a little bit tomatoey. Onions, nice, fresh crunch. The tostada itself, super, super crunchy. And the thing is, I thought this tostada was a little bit thick. It looked like 
it was pretty layered and it is layered but there's also a lot of air inside so you crunch through but you get like a like an airy layer almost the chicken nice soft tender you've got actually a very strong celery and carrot so it's actually more vegetably than it is chickeny now earlier for lunch today we had an empanada that had chicken on it but that was a little bit minty this one does not have that mint flavor but i do like and i prefer actually this sort of celery and chicken flavor it it works better with chicken you know car carrots and celery it just works better but super super crispy not stale at all love the smooth texture of the chicken paste which contrasts the crispiness of the onions and of course the tostada itself absolutely amazing thumbs up from me let's go ahead and try the next thing which is a doblada now what she told me is that inside the doblada there is chicken and vegetables that are cooked inside and then you have that crispy layer on the outside avocado salsa and onions it looks really really good too but it also looks pretty heavy kind of looks like a like a curry puff it, it actually does look like it's in the shape of a curry puff all right let's go ahead and try it mm. when you compare with the tostada, the tostada the mayonnaise sort of covers up all the flavor all the carrot celery chicken flavor but here there's no mayonnaise there's nothing to cover it up so it's just raw just the pure flavor of chicken carrots and celery and you can see here inside you can see it's all cooked up in there and i would say it's a little bit dry but with the salsa it's nice the outside that dough super super nice and crispy i love the creaminess from the avocados the crispiness from the onions but wow that is good and you can see there's actually a lot of air inside but it's also pretty jam-packed like you know usually like for example when i get curry puffs yes the dough is pretty thin but there's not too much stuff in there they have a pretty thick layer of dough but here oh wow like it is stuffed it is jam-packed like this is real ingredients she's really stuffed and i love the effort she's put into making sure it's really stuffed all the way absolutely delicious each one of these are five quetzales but honestly for me absolutely worth it could not have asked for a better last dinner here in Panahashel. Just really, really good all around. Wow, that was absolutely delicious. Honestly, usually when I have two different things, I'll be able to say like, I prefer one over the other. But at that stall, they were both really good. Like I would, I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken. I don't know which one is better. It's, if you're there, you gotta try both of them. That's my advice. You've got to get both of them because they're absolutely delicious. All right, let's go see if there's anything else we can eat for tonight. Well, final food of the day. We've, uh, we were just walking on the street and actually I passed this bakery a couple of times, but they make a lot of baked goods and I knew I had to try it at some point. I got two things. I got a vanilla muffin and then I got a pineapple pie. Now, if you remember, banana is the king of fruits here in Guatemala, but don't sleep on the pineapple and the strawberries here. Everything here has pineapple and strawberries. There's a lot of fruits like that as well, but we're gonna first start off with the vanilla muffin. It smells amazing. It just smells absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and give this a bite. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty plain, a little bit sweet, very, very like bouncy. It's exactly what it looks like, right? You would think of like a nice vanilla muffin. That's exactly what it looks like. That's what it tastes like. That's literally it. But let's go ahead and try the pineapple pie, which looks incredible. You can see the pineapple, that yellow colored pineapple, and it's covered in this like sort of pastry looking thing. This cost five kits out. So this is a little bit more pricey, but it looks delicious. So let's go ahead and give this a try. That is good. The bread on the outside, it's nice and soft. It's not really a crust, it's not crispy. It's nice, soft and bouncy. It's almost like, yeah, it's bread. It's like a white bread. It's not really like a pie. It's not really crispy. The pineapple, oh, I 100%, I, I, I'm willing to bet. The pineapple that they put in this is real pineapple. That taste, that's not chemical. That's the real deal. That's real pineapples, probably bought fresh from the market mashed up and put into this pie that 
is delicious. I don't think she even added extra sugar because it's not really that sweet. It's just kind of a natural fruity taste from the pineapple. Wow, absolutely delicious. I mean, these two things together, six quetzales, absolutely worth it. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today in this video. It's been quite a long video, lots of food here in Lake Atitlan. I've been so excited to share all this food with you guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. But I've definitely had a lot of fun eating my way through Lake Atitlan. There's a lot of unique foods here that I've never seen before, and I hope this helps you if you're thinking of coming to Lake Atitlan to think about what to eat, what's the unique food here, because there is a lot of unique food, but lake fishes and, you know, rice tamales, these are things that you can't really find anywhere else. So. Make sure when you're here in Lake Atitlan to try these local Guatemalan foods out. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!